Hello everyone, in this video we are going to simplify radicals and the radicals that we're going to simplify are going to be non-perfect squares. We're going to do it without a calculator um, and we'll just show you exactly what's going on. Um, so we're going to start off with four perfect squares and hopefully you know the answer to all of these. Square root of 100 is 10 because 10 times 10 equals 100. Square root of 64 is 8 because 8 times 8 equals 64. All perfect squares. Square root of 81, and by the way, if you want to put the square root of 81 in your calculator, press second function, square root 81. Second function is here, and the x squared button is here. And that will give you, the, it, pressing that second function, and x squared will give you the square root symbol, the radical symbol, as we say. And then you press enter, and it's 9, the answer. And the square root of 36 is 6, because 6 times 6 is 36. Very easy. Let's get on with it. When you simplify a radical that is not a perfect square, you do it this way. When the number underneath the radical is not a perfect square, you factor the number underneath the radical into two separate factors that multiply to that number underneath the radical. One is going to be a perfect square. One is going to be a non-perfect square. And then you take the square root of the perfect square and leave the non-perfect square where it is. And we'll do that a couple of times. If you put the square root of 12 in your calculator, you're going to get this number. And we don't want that. We want to simplify this radical into a non, a perfect square and a non-perfect square. So square root of 12, we start off looking for factors that multiply to 12. One being a perfect square, one has to be a non-perfect square. So one times 12, that's not going to do it. Two times six, Neither of those are perfect squares. They're both non-perfect squares. It's not going to help you out. Then it's 3 times 4. And 3 times 4, that's good. Which one of these is a perfect square? 4. So we're going to, ha we're going to draw, whenever you see square root of 12, a non-perfect square, you're going to draw two radical, and I call them houses. Right? So, two radicals you're going to draw. One is, the first one's going to be a perfect square radical, and the second one is going to be a non-perfect square radical. So, the perfect square is going to go in the perfect square house first, square root of 4. And square root of 3 is going to go in that non-perfect square house. Square root of 4 times the square root of 3 is the square root of 12. But, this is where you kind of, the simplifying comes in. The square root of 4 is 2. That's a perfect square. That comes out of that house, that radical. Square root of 4 is 2. Square root of 3 just gets put like this, right next to 2. And that is your final answer, 2 square root of 3. That's it. That's simplified completely. Taking a look at some more questions... If you want to just copy this down, square root of 18, you know right now that square root of 18 is not a perfect square. So what we're going to do is we're going to put a, we're going to draw two radical houses. The first one, I remind you, I'm going to put my perfect square here and I'm going to put my non-perfect square here. Easiest way to look for factors to just start with 1. 1 times 18, nope, you're not going to use that. None of them are perfect squares. 2 times 9 is e equal to 18, and guess what? 9 is the perfect square. So you stop there, you put 9 here, and 2 here. The next thing you do, very simple, square root of 9 is 3 and square root of 2 comes down right next to it, like that. And that's basically it. You simplified. 
take a look at number 2. Square root of 20. Square root of 20. Uh, not a perfect square. So I'm going to draw two radical houses. And I'm going to start with 1 times 20. That's not going to help me out. I need a perfect square and a non-perfect square. So at um, none of those, either none of those numbers are perfect squares. 2 times 10. Again, yeah, that they're equal to 20, um, but guess what? Non-perfect squares. Three, does three go into 20? No, it does not. Four does, though. And four is a perfect square. So we know that we have, we could stop right there and put four in to the perfect square house and five in to the non-perfect square house. And then the next step, square root of four is two. And you just bring the square root of five down. And that's it. Going down to the third one. If you want to press pause right now and try it, go ahead. You could press pause now. So taking a look at square root of 27, square root of 27 um, um, is not a perfect square itself. I'm going to start with 1 times 27. I know that 2 does not go into 27, but I know that 3 does. In my calculator, if I ever get confused, I'm just going to put um, 27 divided by 3. So if you ever do, do get confused, forget the multiplication tables for a second. Guess what? You have your calculator 27 divided by 3. 27 divided by 3 is 9. So 9 times 3 equals 27. 9 is your perfect square. So I'm going to put 9 right here. 9 times 3. And square root of 9 is 3. Square root of 3 comes down right next to it. Your final answer. Taking a look at square root of 125, and 125 is not a perfect square, so I'm going to start out with 1 times 125. No good. All right, so I don't know if 2 goes into 125. I'm going to try it out. No. Does 3? 125 divided by 3? No. Does 4? No. Does 5? You know 5 goes in. But how many times does 5 go in? 25 times. So we're going to skip right down to 5 times 25. Are either of those numbers perfect square? Yes. 25 is the perfect square. So we're going to draw two radical houses. 25 is going to go in the first one, and 5 is going to go in the second. Square root of 25, that's your perfect square. You put that first, square root of 25 is 5, and square root of 5 comes down right next to it. And that is how you would simplify that. So take a look, just a couple more, and then we're going to be finished, um, because it, it's really the same thing over and over again. Use that, use that calculator to get your factors. Um, square root of 24 is not a perfect square on its own, so you have to look for two factors. One has to be a perfect square, one is not going to be a perfect square. So 1 times 24, those two factors, none of them are perfect squares. 2 times 12, none of them are perfect squares. 3 times 8, all factors of 24, still no perfect squares. 4, I know is a perfect square. 4 times what equals 6, 24? 6. So 4 goes into that perfect square house, and 6 goes into the second one, and square root of 4 is 2, square root of 6. Comes down right next to it. That is factored. That's it. Take a look at square root of 30, though. 
square root of 30 is a little bit strange. First off, it's not a perfect square. So we're going to just put down 1 times 30. Not good factors. 2 times 15. Again, factors that multiply to 30, but both of them are non-perfect squares. 3 times 10. No. 4 does not go in. 5 goes in, though. 5 times 6. Both non-perfect squares. So what we say about that, that's it. You, you can't go any further. Um, again, six, 5 times 6, 6 times 5, you, you would... You're, you're not going to get a perfect square. 9 doesn't go in. Um, you could look at your perfect square. 16 is not going to go in. So this is, square root of 30 is non, not factorable. Square root of 30, not factorable. You looked for your factors. There are no factors that have one perfect square and one non-perfect square. There's one last one here. If you want, you could go ahead and you could press pause, write down the square root of 48, look for two factors, one perfect square, one non-perfect square that goes into 48. You can press pause now. All right, so we are going, hopefully you did that and Hopefully you have your factors. I'm going to start with 1 times 48. No good. 2 times 24. Again, neither of those numbers are perfect squares. So I'm going to bring that calculator up. And when I bring the calculator up, I just want to make sure that, you know, the next number I have on my factor list here should be 3. Does 3 go into 48? And I just want to make sure that it does or it doesn't just by doing 48 divided by 3. 16, it does go in. And 16 is a perfect square. So 16 goes first. 16 times what? 16 times 3. Square root of 16 is 4. 4 square root of 3 is your final answer. And that's about it. All right. Hopefully this video helped you out with the uh, simplification of radicals that are not perfect squares without a calculator. Remember, no decimals in your answers. 4 square root of 3 is your final answer. Take care, everybody. See you next time.